Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. You had a little party going on in the on the house yesterday. We did. We had a, a FaceTime with my uh, parents and my sisters and the nieces and the nephew and the, um, you know, the uh, brother-in-laws and everybody. We had, a, we had a big, and we ate dinner together. We had a little... Oh, that's uh, cute. Um, a mini uh, Passover and, and had dinner. And, um, you know, my father... After, like, he does, like, a quick, like, five-minute kind of uh, service thing. It's not, mm-hmm. like, uh, it's not long and drawn out. But my father, right after it was over, he's like, all right, going to hang up. Everyone enjoy their meal. And I had to, yeah, I'm, like, yelling at the FaceTime. I'm like, aren't we going to eat together? What is wrong with all of you people? Oh, boy. So they hung up on you? No. So I got them all to stay on. And I feel like I was. All the dri- right, enjoy your meal. Bye bye. I feel like I was the driving force of everyone staying on, and we were on for another like hour and a half, Candy. Wow, very yeah. nice. So we got to see everybody, and I'm uh, very happy about that. The yeah. kids enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, the kids had a uh, a good time. Now, have you uh, spoken to the the sons? Now you don't see oh, yes. the sons, but you don't see them. No. No, I, uh, I'm i going to do that this weekend. I keep saying that, but, you know. No, we spoke, uh, both of them, yesterday, and uh, they're doing well, hanging in there. We all can't believe it, what's happening and how long it's going on. And Evan is convinced it's going to go on way longer than I think. And, uh, you know, so we're all adjusting to that. But, yeah, I talk to them every day, and they're, uh, they're secluded in their houses and working. Evan is the smart one. He's the voice of reason, you know. I do know that. He's very pragmatic, and, um, yeah. Except for... Um, it's going to be months. Yeah, well, listen, I mean, with that in mind, I will tell you Dr. Fauci uh, says that we should, as a society, just forget about shaking hands. Call it a day on the handshake, Candy. I was never big, you know, I'm not a big handshaker, although I know it's supposed to, you know, you're supposed to do that and everything. I'm fine with never shaking hands again. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a fist bump guy. I have been. I I'm I don't like germs to begin with. But Dr. Fauci says that's it. Shaking hands is over and should not be happening. He also says the White House Coronavirus Task Force is considering considering giving the green light to a select group of people to go back to work who've been exposed to the virus already, Candy. Now, how will they know that? They've, I, heard, they've had to have come down with it and been sick? Or is there a way to test them what what are they doing i suppose you'll have to be Going tested. on word alone you'll either have to be tested or have a uh you know a hospital uh paperwork that says you know you had it and you don't have it anymore i don't know uh they said nothing's gonna happen till at least the end of the month uh so don't even get your hopes up and you well, know that's only like two weeks away so yeah that's well maybe three but yes it's right, uh three we still got some time uh what else can i tell you this morning a new video Shows us how just one cough can spread coronavirus across a grocery store for several minutes, Candy. My goodness. I know. I'm really never going to leave this house again, am I? I know. It's absolutely uh, I took a little walk yesterday and came back in and spray disinfected and disinfected my hands, then washed them and disinfected again. I mean, it's nuts. Listen, I believe that I am... Uh, fully prepared and as a family we are fully prepared for this for many years because I am such a germaphobe that I've been practicing this stuff for a while. Brian too, Brian too and now he's a bit panicked because we're running very low on hand sanitizer Mm. and spray. He's very getting very antsy about that. Mm, good, good on you, Brian. I know. Can you mail me some? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mail you your mask. That's for sure. Uh, well, uh, you didn't do that yet, and I'm breathing in all this air. No, please. You haven't left your house in about five weeks. Just stop. Hey, it. hey. Um, and I'm gonna give you one more because this, you know. We're going to see a new normal. We're not just going to go back to normal. You're going to see a new normal. Delta Airlines is already stopping the booking of middle seats through the end of May. So they don't see yes. something good can come out of something. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that middle seat. Well, prices of uh, airline seats may go up because of this, but um, 
Anyway, hey, if you want to go to Florida, it's about 48 bucks, and they'll quarantine you for two weeks when you land. Through the end of May, and you may see other airlines follow suit, uh, Delta Airlines is not going to book middle seats. And I see that continuing. I could see airlines maybe through the end of the summer not booking middle seats. It's going to happen. It's going to start happening. Candy, and I, I couldn't be happier about that. I think when we go back to business, I think restaurants are going to have to push tables further apart. I think there's going to be some of this uh, kind of the new normal, as I call it, Candy. And, and you know, they have the hibachi where you watch them cook. I was never a fan of that anyway, to sit with a bunch of strangers and have food, food thrown at me. <laughs> I hope you put a stop to that right away. <laughs> oh, Candy's first act as female president, the first ever female president. <laughs> she is going to stop hibachi. Well done. <laughs> Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.